Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and I got another stock finding video to show you today. Um, as you know, I went out to Gethly, uh, Gethly Gay, Bessemer Road car boot sale um, last weekend and had an amazing buy-in day. And I've got six really nice pieces of stock that I purchased down there to show you. I really hope you enjoy it. It's a real nice mix, some real good quality. Stay tuned guys, find out what I got. Okay, just quickly before we get going guys, if you love antiques, collectibles, you're in the reseller business, then don't forget to subscribe because my channel's all about how-to videos. I go out buying antiques and I show you what everything's worth and how to identify it. So state your claim guys, make sure you subscribe. If the videos help you and you like them, I would really appreciate a like and a share to help me keep creating videos. Let's get to it. Okay, well, let's get to it. Now, all of you know how much I love metalware. Well, I have bought an absolute storm. We have a solid cast brass night on horseback. Now, this got to be close to 10 kilos in weight. You know, it's not far off 10 kilos in weight of brass. Now, I paid 15 pound for it. Beautiful, beautiful piece really nice it's had a replacement screw on the shoulder here instead of a brass screw it's got a normal screw it's neither here nor there it is spectacular and seriously heavy now it's a night jousting um lovely cast details and weighs a ton now these don't have huge age they're all 20th century but they don't make them cast solid brass like that anymore they're hollow and things so when you get the good heavy ones, you're all right. Now, if I couldn't sell it, brass scraps at about two pound a kilo anyway. So there's a small profit on there if I wanted to melt it down. But I can tell you now that's going in the shop for good money and we'll have a look online and see what they pull in. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I've searched for the brass knight I have and I can't find one anyway. There's one on Google, uh, but it's coming up on Worth Point and you've got to pay to see what it was worth or what it sold for. It's a similar one, only a lot smaller and a lot lighter, and they, they're asking £45. Uh, I went to the sold section, and this was the closest thing I could find, and it's, they've got it down as a knight, but it looks more like a cavalry officer. Um, I don't know, on horseback, and that was £65. So, just basing it on what I sell stuff for in the shop as a rule, um then i'm going to be up 45 50 pound on this and to be honest with you i know it's going to go comfortably so but i say it's going to go it's already gone so happy days okay my next lot is two items two separate but similar items and i absolutely love them bear with me just a second and i'll show you the first there we go it is uh, an enameled sign or printed sign uh, on aluminum now I would guess 1940s somewhere like that um, and it's obviously for medicine for basically headache painkillers nice little sign that's the first wafer thin obviously it's a nice little bit of sheet aluminium and then printed on yeah, I don't think it's enamel as it is more printed on, but uh, that's the first one. And the second one really had me giggling. Now, if I said to you, you've got a cold or cough, what would you think? Oh, I'll go out and I'll buy um, cold and flu remedies, hence Beecham's. Read the bottom line. I didn't even know Beecham's done laxatives, but that gave me a good giggle, I did. It's a little rough on the corners where it's been ripped off, as you can see. But it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect them. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love them, I really do. Take Beecham's Pills, the ideal laxative. And it's by the Metal Box Co Limited. So we're gonna have a look on just how old they are, because I'm guessing 40s, 50s. Um, but down by there is where it says by the Metal Box Limited. So we'll have a look what they pull online and we'll have a look what they, uh, you know, when they were made and what they're worth. As a pay, they cost me £15. Do I mind that? Not really. £7.50 each. And I love them. They got a really nice look. You know, 
I'd have them. Happily. Okay, guys, I'd done a search. I could only find one sign very similar to mine sold. They've put it down as 1950s or 60s. I thought 40s to 50s, so we're, we're not a million miles out. Now, this one here, the corners are gone exactly the same as mine. They sold it for £35 on 13 bids. That's a sold price, guys. So, I'm, uh, I'm about on the money, 25, 30 quid each sign. So, I'm happy enough with them. Okay, moving on to one I've had for quite a while, about privately this one in the shop. Um, but I've got to film it now because it's going today, it's sold. I'm going to show you the box first. It's a Russian box, uh, USSR. So any toys that come boxed on, straight away increases the value. Don't ever throw your boxes out and try and keep them as good a condition as you possibly can. Now, what we have here is a train set in tin plate and it's a wind-up clockwork toy. The trains go round the tracks and if you look underneath, I'm lucky enough to have a key. Age-wise, I think it's probably 1970s, something like that, uh, but we will have a look in just a minute. As you can see, it works, which is always a good sign. Lovely little thing. Um, I think it owes me about eight pound, somewhere on by there. Um, and to be totally honest with you, I think that's a bargain. I can't sell it. Take the key back on now. I'll get that in just a second. So that really nice little piece of template, Russian, Lovely condition on it, guys. And with this box, happy days. We'll have a look at that now. Okay, guys, I've searched for the USSR tin plate clockwork train set. And I've come up with two. Now, they put number 60s. So I thought they might have been 70s, but there we go, the 1960s. So they're already nearly 60 years old. Now, underneath here is a very similar one. It doesn't look in as good clean condition as mine, but it does look in good condition. £35, and the one above it, £59. I come over here, and in sole listings, the only thing I can find, 228 for the little station. But we come down, there's one there, £27.42 plus 20 quid postage for the same one as I got. And we come down even lower, and there's another one, £76.15 with 41 postage. Um, the only downside is it's obviously from America. So I'm really pleased with the uh, template toy and I'm gonna put about 45 to 50-ish, somewhere on there on there and to be honest with you, that's gonna go pretty quick too. Okay, the next piece I'm gonna film, I can't remember how much I paid for it guys. It's in my book, which is in the house. Um, it was either around five or 10 pound. I genuinely can't remember, but I've got to film it because they've sold today and it's going this morning. But what I've got is another stoneware barrel um, or flagon, whatever you want to call them. Now, this one is for JL Lloyd of Newport, which isn't too far away, it's about 20 miles up the road, and it's produced by Dalton Lambeth, which is early Royal Dalton. So, there's the Dalton Lambeth mark. It's in a stoneware and it's in lovely condition. So as I said, it cost me around five or ten pounds. I never pay a fortune for these big flagons. Um, they are hard to sell sometimes, but as you know, I've I've got a gentleman who comes in and he's doing a pub up. He's kitting a pub out. So a lot of this stuff will go to him for the pub. And that is perfect to be totally honest with you for that purpose. So we'll stay tuned, we'll have a little look what it's worth. You'll have to excuse the passing traffic, guys. It's not a lot I can do, I'm on a very busy main road. So stay tuned and we'll see what we got. Okay, so what I've done here, guys, I've just searched for a Dalton Lambeth flagon. And these are actual currently up for sale. These are asking prices. So these haven't sold yet. 
And I was just going to give you a little look at what's there and scroll through until we come to some. There's a similar-ish flag into what I've got, circa £1,989. £85. £79. They're asking money for these. 74 that's a salt glaze one. 65 is a Schweppes. 655 55 Let's come across and have a look at sole prices. I got a real nice surprise for you coming up by here. 170 for that one. Look at that. A miniature. Tiny, tiny. £145. Pound. 89 29 16 Down to a tenner. Down to a fiver. So... I'm going to be about £30, £35 pound on that flag, and, and it's going to go today when he comes in for his other bits anyway. So that gives you an idea on what sort of monies these flagons are. Right, next piece I'm going to show you came from Gethly Gay Car Boot Sale before it closed. And it's been packed away, and I don't think I've filmed it yet. But if I have, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. But I don't think I have. Now, what I've got here is a piece of Chinese Clasone. Clasone, Clasone, whatever you want to pronounce it as. Cloys on it. Now basically it is enameled or glass powder that's put normally inside wires and things on top of metal and then fired to form this beautiful effect. As you can see this is a beautiful piece. Now what they normally do is they'll run a wire work around the outside, uh, do the old design, fill it with the paste and then they'll fire it. Nice piece. Now this is a modern piece, it has got a, a seal on there, in the bottom corner there. This is a nice piece, as I was saying, uh, but it's modern. But what I'm going to do is, we're going to have a little look at Clasone online. And, oh look at that. It comes with a little history lesson on Clasone. We can have a look anyway online, see what Clasone sells for, things like that. But just out of curiosity, I'm going to have a little read of this now, see what it says here. Clasone. Uh, Koito, an ancient city in Japan, was the capital of the country for 1,100 years until about 120 years ago. There's an old city in the old city. The art of making Clasone way has been kept for many years. The Japanese word for Clasone way is Shippo or Seven Treasured Way. Originally the way was done by inlaying seven, several, no, seven, different precious treasures such as sapphires, emeralds, corals, jades, cobalts, crystals and pearls, etc. And these were mounted in gold and silver. In the created process, enamels take the place of these precious stones. Clasone making was originally originated in Central Asia. The art came from Japan with Buddhism in about 538 AD and was developed to the present style in the Edo period 1600 to 1860. Every piece of Clasone way is made by hand by skilled craftsmen <coughs> in the following process. Foundation, copper, silver or gold. Drawing design on the foundation. Wires are fixed to the design, stuck by glue temporarily, which is what I just explained to you where they make almost like a reservoir with wires. Solder enamel flux is dropped in. First bake, bake in for the solder wires. First coating of enamels. Second baking at about 850 degrees. Second coating of enamels. Third baking. Third coating of enamels and so forth. Um, by baking this time enamels get thick enough to cover all the wires polishing by nine different wet stones finishing and trimming done with silver or gold and then you have that so this is a japanese clasone piece not a chinese clasone piece uh, since it has all the japanese history so there we go something else i didn't realize i thought it was a chinese piece but uh, no this is a japanese clasone uh, beautiful, beautiful piece, beautiful work of art. The amount of work, as you can understand from that little description there, that have gone into making this dish or tray is spectacular. So we're going to search Japanese Klasoni and Chinese Klasoni and do a comparison of the two so you can see the difference in prices. Stay tuned, guys.
Okay, um, we're going to look at the Clasone dish I have now, and we're going to start off at looking at Japanese Clasone, and then we'll move on to the Chinese. Now, just to show you, I've done, first of all, just Japanese Clasone uh, in the search, as you can see just there, and I'm just going to have a look at some of the dearest asking prices for a bit of Clasone on eBay. Now, I know eBay's prices are all over the place because you can find somebody selling a vase like this for three and a half grand and then you'll find someone else asking under a pound for it. Um, but it, there's a big difference on knowing what's real and what's fake. There's a lot of fake in the Asian or Oriental markets. So just giving you a little look at some of the asking prices here for the Japanese Clasone so you can see it is something that is in demand but what we're going to do we're going to go to the sold prices sold prices are always better to look at and there's a simple vase but there for nine and a well, ten grand a little ginger jar five thousand that one was best off uh, it's another ginger jar but there three thousand so you can see the types of money this pulls this is absolutely spectacular that is love that with the dragon in it over two thousand pounds and it's only three and a half inches tall look at that three and a half inches it's that is tiny two thousand three hundred pounds for that little thing so it's something you really got to keep your eye out on guys trust me when i tell you that clasone is money moving on i found a very similar piece to what i got which is the light blue floral tray and they're asking 65 pounds. I found, yet again, one very similar. It's got a building though, uh, and that's sold for 30 pounds. So for me, I'm going to be putting 40 pound on my uh, Clasone dish, even though it's more than 40, 45 pounds somewhere over there, and I'm happy. Now, what I've done now, I've just gone and had a look on eBay at some of the Chinese Clasone pieces, um, and see the asking prices on some Chinese pieces. And to be honest with you, Chinese works of art normally demand serious money. But at the moment, the Clasone seems to be quite low in comparison to the Japanese Clasone. Don't know why. Maybe it's just not available at the moment, the better pieces. But don't get me wrong, that's a little tray there. And I mean a small tray. £750 is still good money for that. 695 for a little bowl and lid. 700 sorry about that guys i had a few customers come in there as i was saying you got a nice chinese clasone teapot there 19th century one 700 pound 550 no that's japanese bird plate chinese vases and some of this stuff can be 20th century and still pull hundreds it hasn't got to be 17th 18th century it can be 20th century and still pull money now I'm going to go to the sold listings. These are actually things that have sold. You've got a nice planter there, 2,000. Look how small that dish is. He's holding it in his hand. That's tiny, 1,200 pounds. A uh, pair of vases there, 480. And they're 20th century, they are. A little belt buckle, look at that. It's a Chinese Tibetan Clasone amlet box sorry not belt buckle it's a little amlet box but it'd be, be on the belt 400 pound so just giving you an idea this clasone is big bucks a lot of work involved in making it look at that this cup is smaller than an apple 310 pounds size isn't everything guys it can still pull good money okay we don't my final piece for today's video and it is a beaut now what i've bought Hang on, big one. Is a duck. <laughs> and yes, it's a duck out of water. Now, this duck is solid bronze. Now, it's got this green verdigris all over it. And when I was looking at it, I thought, mm, okay, is it fake bronzed on cast iron or something? Because it's so heavy, it's unbelievable. Now, if you look at the head here, you can see just there you can see the browning coming through the verdigris where it's been polished and things but that weren't enough really for me to say yes it's bronze so what i done i give it a damn good gouge on the foot scrape the hell out of the foot really deep 
and a couple of other places as well but really deep there on the foot just so you can see and it's yellow underneath now had this been cast iron or you know spelter or something like that when you gouge into that foot it would have been white metal underneath so this is a solid bronze duck beautifully cast real nice designs nice feathers lo lovely shape nice feet really nice quality piece of bronze now it came in privately and i paid i think it was eight pound for this gorgeous do you know i'm struggling on whether i want to sell her or not so i'll be putting a price on this that if they do buy it they buy it at a good profit because really i don't want to sell this one it's gorgeous heavy gorgeous beautifully cast I don't think it's very old it's 20th century one no doubt um, however I still think it's a beautiful very decorative solid bronze item so you know it's 20 30 quid of bronze in it okay guys I've searched for the bronze duck that I've got and to be honest with you I've fallen in quite lucky by here now this one's actually currently up for sale and it's a lovely bronze duck and they're asking 355 on 10% offer it was originally up to 400 pounds if you look by there it's currently on offer um, so that's a lot of money and this is the exact, same, the exact same duck I've got I come across here and I search for souls and I found one that's just as weathered as mine but I don't like all this rusty sort of finish on it it's bloody terrible um, and they've sold it for £121 that was sold bid and that's in very poor condition so and they've got theirs as a bronze metal duck so quite shockingly it's worth more than I was expecting but theirs is in hell of a mess I don't think theirs is bronze I will double check mine later I'll uh, I might drill into it in, in the underneath a little bit and just double check the filings that come out um, however that is the exact one I've got right there and they're asking 350 so I've fallen in quite well with that so I'm gonna be putting about 150 pound on my duck whichever way it goes the one in hell of a mess sold for 120 so mine's worth 150 pound all day long so that was all right well i honestly think you'll agree with me it's been a really good little selection of items again a couple of shock prices i didn't expect the bronze duck to be that type of money i'll be honest with you um the rest of it i was pretty much around where i was thinking um the flagon you know i do them cheaper anyway because they're not the easiest thing in the world to sell you've got to have somebody with a pub and things like that who wants them and then i give them good deals anyway to keep them coming back so all in all, I'm super pleased with what I've bought. It's a really good profit. It's a good mix of items and keeps the shop interesting. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. I really hope you've enjoyed. If you have, I would really appreciate a, li appreciate a like and a share. You find me on Facebook. Uh, I have a page in the group Antiques Arena. You find me on eBay. My seller ID is Antiques Arena Clearance. I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com, or you can come see me in the shop. It's Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Foxtrot, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. Guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.